biggest issue in healthcare is we have doctors right now, uh, I'm not going to say it's the biggest issue, but a big part of that, we have doctors that perform defensive medicine because if they go, if you go in with an arm pain and they don't catch the fact that maybe you broke your little toe and that spirals into a bigger problem, you can sue them for almost everything they're worth. So doctors now, if you go in with an arm pain or you go in with some kind of a problem, they're going to order every test in the book. So that drives cost up insanely. So we need to get tort reform and lawsuit limitations to where people can be fairly you know, compensated for wrongful acts, but it's not out of control, and doctors don't have to practice that defensive medicine. Uh, the other thing is we're providing free health care to only one group of people in the United States, and that is illegals. We have to start taking care of that problem. We have to, to figure out what to do there. We have to control our border and lead into those kinds of situations. But the other big thing, too, is just we need to recognize that there's a crisis. We need to recognize there's families without health insurance, and we need to talk about what we can do to help them. You know, is it in the temporary? Is it the government helping them afford private insurance? Maybe. But I know another big thing is to allow small businesses to band together to compete as a big business. So those with pre-existing conditions, uh, you know, can blend into the larger population and still get health insurance. Uh, I happen to have a, a real close person to me uh, that cannot get health insurance right now because of pre-existing conditions. And they, they would like to make that illegal. I mean, so that can't yeah, to be able to band together as a business group. So, so then that's use. forcing the insurance companies to take on high risks. It's like if you're a bad driver, you know, you're going to force them to do that. So that's really kind of intruding in the free market as well. I mean, how do you balance that? Well, it's not a forcing them to take it. It's allowing groups to band together as one so that the risk is lower and so that there is a benefit to insuring that larger group. So instead of one person going up and saying, I've had, you know, six heart attacks, I have diabetes, all, the, uh, diabetes, all this stuff, it's allowing a larger group of 100 people where somebody like, you know, a 25-year-old kid or whatever that's in very good shape can offset that and they can compete as a bigger group. I mean, we have to do it. We have to do something about it. But the answer isn't to create a government plan. That's only going to create a bigger problem. Government's never done anything right, and everything that we do is bankrupt. 